Adobe has just entered the AI game. That's right, Adobe's always been able to do amazing things, but now they've introduced the beta of something called Adobe Firefly. Adobe Firefly is generative AI that right now is a standalone in the beta, but eventually it's gonna be applied to all of your favorite Adobe applications. That means it's going to be intertwined with Photoshop and Illustrator and Premiere Pro, you name it, there's gonna be AI inside of it. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour, a little bit of an overview of what Firefly Firefly can do. We're going to talk about some of its coolest features, see some examples of the things that it can make, and then we'll also be talking about how it might be implemented into some of those favorite tools of yours. We're talking about Adobe Firefly today. All right, we're jumping right into the site, which gives you a quick overview. It's going to be coming to all of your favorite Adobe products, but some examples here you can see of generating AI in something like Photoshop on the fly, and then grabbing that imagery from your text-based prompt that it generates, find the option you like, clip the piece out of it that you want, and then continue to work with it inside of Photoshop. You can see some other examples down here of how it might be applied, where we have a scene we've already created. We upload our own composition, our own artwork, and then ask AI to change some elements, maybe give us some variations of a piece of it or add on to it, maybe even pairing with things like content aware fill. We're going to be able to fill that with AI imagery. Here's an illustrator example where we have a selection of logo concepts we've created and we tell AI, hey, clean this up for me, give me some variations and boom, it's immediately editable inside of Illustrator. And then we're even talking about Premiere Pro, changing the weather, adding effects using AI. This is going to be absolutely bananas but let's jump in and take a look at what you get when you sign up for the beta we are in firefly right now you can see the emphasis on text-based prompts just like all the ai that's out there right now and it does a lot of that you can see if we click here we can do text to image creating unique images from our text prompts but we're also going to be playing with text effects being able to add styles or textures to text, to actual text, letters or sentences or words or whatever using text-based prompts. Let's play with our text-to-image feature first and see what we come up with. We have uh, a really beautiful gallery where we can see the prompts that were used there and then we can actually try that prompt ourselves. But something to note uh, here in Adobe Firefly is that when you roll over, you're actually going to get what are called the content credentials. Now, Adobe is really concerned about copyright, copyright infringement, the legalities and implementation of artificial intelligence inside of creative work. And so what you can see here is a content credential saying, this content was generated with an AI tool. And we can see what tool was used to create it, Adobe Firefly 1.0. It was, you know, we can, and we can view more information about it. But all that to say that Adobe is really concerned with the rights of the creator and other people's content as well. So if this is my unique individual artwork I've uploaded and used AI to tweak it and change it, that original artwork belongs to me. And therefore, there's maybe some copyright issues if you try to just take it and generate stuff off of it, this is really, really cool. I'm really, really excited to see Adobe implementing here. Uh, so you can see all of the awesome like artwork in the gallery that people are doing. But down below, of course, you have your text-based prompt, you know, like chat box. So let's insert a fun text prompt here. Like how about a mouse in a uh, Royal Navy uh, uniform um, standing on the deck uh, of the ship looking at the C. Uh, okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to press generate and we'll see what Adobe comes up. Now, it's important to note that Adobe does have some pretty strict guidelines on what you can generate. It's going to be very weary of anything that is explicit, anything that's violent. It's not going to generate stuff like that, which I think is really, really cool. There's some some you know, some safety and some handrails or guardrails going on there. Look at the amazing artwork that it generated for me. I can click on one and I can actually cycle through um, to see the different variations that it's given me. Absolutely amazing. All of this is generative AI. If you really love one, of course, you could download it, which I'm going to do. You can see that it uh, Adobe applied those content credentials on download. So now it is embedded in the metadata of the image, which is really, really cool. Okay, so now uh, from here, we can, uh, you know, take any of these. We could update our prompt if we want to and say, hey, we want to change that to a rat instead of a mouse or a shrew or something. We can, of course, change the prompt. But 
Adobe Firefly has also given us some really cool options over here that are built into the GUI, built into the interface itself. Right now we're working in a square kind of like uh, aspect ratio. What if we wanted to go more portrait and create a portrait of this little mouse Royal Navy fellow? We could do that. It's gonna regenerate our artwork for us using the same exact prompt. Really, really cool. Now we have it in you know, the right format for Instagram or whatever, you know, like format you need it. But we can also change the content type. I like it here on art, but what if we change it to photo? Again, it's gonna go ahead and regenerate that. So it's giving you exactly what you're asking for. But it's important to note, it's applying that tag down here in the prompt, okay? So now we have something that's a little bit more on the photorealistic side. It looks a little bit more like Stuart Little, the movie. Okay, kind of cool. Let's go back to art. And you can see now that we've generated, we can switch back and forth. Let's go to graphic and see, you know, what comes up when we have more of like a graphic content type. Um, that's going to probably be a little bit more, yeah, like hand-drawn, a little bit more illustrative. Really cute though, really awesome stuff. Let's go back to art and you can see the the same composition, really, really similar composition. This guy facing this way, wearing this outfit, facing this way, wearing this outfit is really, it's kept true. It's just trying to, you know, it's honoring the initial generation of the content. It's just changing the style and maybe re kind of positioning and calibrating where the camera is and the angle is. So really, really cool. So let's go back to our art style. We also have some other options like we have styles. Uh, we have color and tone, lighting and composition. So let's go to style and we can add a bunch of these filters or kind of like keywords to add to the prompt and then regenerate again. So let's do something. It's a little bit more like digital art. Um, and then we can go to movements. Let's some, do something a little bit more steampunk theme. Give me, oh, we could go pixel. That'd be really fun, but let's, uh, let's stick with, uh, you know, the way that we have it. I think we have digital art there. That's, I think that's good for us. Let's go techniques. I want to do a little bit more painting. Um, give me a bokeh effect and then uh, make it, I think it's good the way it is. We might try layered paper and see what it comes up with, okay? So you can see all of those aspects we've added to our prompt. We're gonna regenerate now using those and seeing what Firefly comes up with us. This is really powerful AI, and right now the model is actually trained off of Adobe Stock as well as open source images, but I'm sure later on they will add more to it. And wow, look at the results. <laughs> that we got from our prompt. Look at these amazing AI results. They're fabulous. They're so cool. I could definitely use these in some sort of project. All right, so this is pretty wild. This is a really huge leg up on, I think, you know, generative AI, text-based prompt, kind of uh, the way that that's used. But let's go over and move away from text to image and let's jump over and try text effects because that's another really cool feature. So we just click here on text effects and we're going to get presented with this gallery. You can see people are doing letters and that's the the kind of the gist here is that we're going to say, hey, a letter or a word, and then we're going to then give it a style through text-based prompts. You can see down here on the left-hand side, let's try A, and then our prompt will be something like Floral Hawaii. Um, let's do Plumeria and Palm, something like that. We'll press enter, and we're starting to generate our style on top of our character, right? And it gives us our very first character and we have our variations down below. So we might explore this one instead. And Firefly is going to regenerate for us with the selection that I've made. Really, really cool. Now you'll notice, look, like it's actually, <laughs> it's taking like the subject matter, like floral, tropical, Hawaiian, and it's kind of wrapping it around the character, which is really, really great. And we have some options here. Like first off, what we could do is we could just add to we like the style let's just add to it and you know refresh and see what it does right it should apply it to our text again you get a really similar kind of layout now we're getting some little kind of artifacts up here on the top that's okay we can knock those out because again this is going to be embedded in something like photoshop so i'd be able to do this apply it and then mask and do all my work inside but look how beautiful that is like that's looking super amazing. Even the shapes at the edge of the H is really cool. Now, again, we have those really cool options. Like we want our text effect maybe to be a little on the looser side and we can change the font if we want to. Uh, we can change background color. And as we do that, look how loose, like making it more loose got, it allowed it to add some more like kind of little elements there. If we went really, really more on the tight side, it's going to be very crisp and contained 
to the shape of the character itself. See how a little bit more crisp. We don't get those artifacts around. So definitely something. Now it's, even though it's crisp, you know, and tight to the character, we still get some of those fun little embellishments of like, you know, like the organic kind of shapes of the flowers and everything. So this is really, really cool stuff. Uh, again, being able to change background color, you know, like um, apply different like elements, changing the text, the style of text. Actually, let's do something that's a little bit more of a serif. That's not the greatest serif, but I'm sure eventually this is going to be plugged into, you know, using Adobe fonts. But you get the point, right? Like how beautiful, like all of this typography work. And again, how long it would take you to do something like this if you wanted to do something like this from scratch, or if you want to use something like this as a starting kind of inspiration or to just kind of like pull some of that, uh, some of that creative inspiration out and use it as a jumping off point. I think it's a really, really cool opportunity, man. That's Adobe Firefly. It's a cool tool. It's really easy to use. The beta's out right now. You should jump in and try it, apply, and get accepted for the beta. Um, let me know what you thought. Are you going to be using something like Adobe Firefly? Are you excited for it to be mixed in to the Adobe Creative Cloud and the suite of tools that you already use? Let me know down in the comments and check the link in the description so you can go check out Adobe Firefly yourself. I hope you're having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things, making amazing things, and using these awesome AI tools to improve your workflow. We'll see you in the next one.